Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you this uh, melon and pumpkin farm that I made on the Night Owl server uh, the other day. Uh, this is quite compact, it's 5x5. Uh, five five. Uh, the footprint and you can extend this as high as you want. Uh, it uses torches to trigger the pistons and the pistons will push the uh, uh, melons and pumpkins into that hole and they will drop into that hopper and the hopper will collect them and uh, this uses this hopper, uh, sorry this uh, day night sensor to uh, harvest the items of the pumpkins and melons and uh, let's actually sh I will show you how to how it works uh, let's make it tonight and now when the day comes this, this will uh, harvest it. So this day-night sensor will send out a signal to, to these uh, uh, pistons and the piston, pistons will push the items here and uh, you can grab them from the chest. Uh, it's not foolproof, uh, sometimes there are items left in here as you can see, but over time it doesn't really matter because the, there are so many uh, pumpkins and melons, melons there and every 20 minutes this will harvest them So let's um, See how you can make this We start off with this 5x5 platform uh, We stick the daylight sensor straight in the middle uh, Then we add uh, two sticky pistons Replacing these plugs uh, at redstone dust here uh, redstone repeaters set to four ticks in here all of these four spots add a block there and this is basically a uh, uh, this is one tick pulser but I, I have made it so that there's four ticks and every time this starts to give out signal this will uh, pulse Next we will place blocks on these four corners and now we can make the uh, uh, torch tower so first place a uh, torch there block on top of it, torch here block on top of that, torch here and co continue with the pattern this torch is the one that controls the, uh, uh, the piston so we can add the piston there and then we need to do the other four corners and you can uh, you need to alternate this pattern so this this tower will go in this pattern uh, this one will go in the same fashion so in here here and so on and so on okay and the piston can be placed here now that the all of the pistons are in place, I'm going to grab a dirt block. And now we can make the uh, the place for the uh, pumpkins and melons to grow. So we need to form a circle in here. So this is where the, they will fall down, the uh, pumpkins and melons. And this, will, this is where we will plant them. Uh, let's make another floor. I'm going to show you how you can extend this. All you need to do is Continue the same pattern with these uh, torch towers on all four of these block, torch, block, and torch. One more. Oh, that's the last one. And then you can add the pistons. and the dirt ring okay uh, now we can uh, plant the uh, melons and pumpkins so you want to go down here and start uh, hoeing these corners and then do a alternating pattern so melon pumpkin melon pumpkin and then if you want you can grow them with bone meal to speed things up and the other layer Alright, 
last one and then we of course need to add some light and the easiest place is in here uh, if you want to use glowstone you can also use this place here but i'm using torches in the middle uh, let's then add the uh, gathering mechanism or the hopper and the chest so we need to place the chest in in here oops that's the wrong way but okay let's let's leave it that like that and then you place hoppers here and here uh, since hopper is a transparent block it won't affect the uh, light level on this even though the, you you cover this up or uh, place it underground uh, just make sure when you cover this or make the roof uh, you leave this uh, open or leave this or place a glass block on top here <clears throat> okay and now we can make it today oh sorry the night and then today like that and of, as I mentioned you can extend this as high as you want and uh, you'll get the, all the pumpkins and melons you ever need or, or want so once again thanks for watching guys and I will see you on the next one